It's a major update to a case that has stoked fear and concern in Chicago's Jewish community. Police say they do believe the suspect was acting alone, but tell us they now have evidence to prove he was planning this attack and intended to harm more than just one person. The shooting is deeply personal to members of our Jewish community. We know that. But this shooting should be personal to everyone across the city. When medics rushed to the 6800 block of North Washtenaw Avenue last Saturday morning to treat a 39-year-old man who was targeted, shot in the shoulder, walking to synagogue, police say first responders were ambushed by the suspect who'd returned to the scene of the crime. Since the shooting occurred, our investigative response team has worked their fingers to the bone to determine a motive. The incident leaving the Jewish community shaken. Superintendent Larry Snelling says he cannot say enough about the officers who engaged in a shootout with the suspect. 22-year-old Sidi Mohammed Abdullahi. And stopped him from taking lives. Because of his injuries, police haven't been able to interview Abdullahi, but they did find a digital trail. Evidence from the offender's phone indicated he planned this shooting and specifically targeted people of Jewish faith. It is not only heinous, it is wicked. On top of attempted murder charges, among others, the evidence was enough to bring on two more, hate crime and terrorism, bringing the total number of felony charges to 16. As a husband, as a father, it grieves me and it breaks my heart knowing that our Jewish community doesn't feel safe and secure in our beloved city. And just as I want for my family, I want for the families of our Jewish community. Officials standing united that hate will not be tolerated and will be brought to the fullest extent of justice. I do just want to say one thing about the Jewish community. We are a strong, united, resilient community and we will remain that way. And we are looking into information that the suspect is not originally from the United States, but instead came here from West Africa within the last two years. We have reached out to ICE and are awaiting confirmation. Meantime, that suspect's first court date is next Thursday. Reporting live from Chicago Police Headquarters, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago. Now, the hate crime and terrorism charges against that suspect have raised questions tonight. Why did prosecutors wait so long, and what do they mean? Terrence Lee continues our team coverage now with more insight. Scott, for something to be considered a hate crime here in Illinois, prosecutors really need solid proof. The attack was aimed at someone because of their protected characteristics. This includes things like race, religion, sexual orientation, and immigration status. Law enforcement has to find clear evidence showing the incident wasn't random, but actually driven by bias. They often have to dig deep, looking into the suspect's background, their actions leading up to the incident, even checking out their phone, their internet history, or social media. Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox says when someone goes after another person's faith, ethnicity, or identity, it's not just an attack on that individual. It becomes an attack on an entire community. Hate crime charges recognizes this. They acknowledge that the acts motivated by bias or prejudice aim to instill fear, sow division, and marginalize entire groups of people. Hate crimes are not just crimes against an individual, but are attempts to disrupt the social fabric that unites us all. Now, terrorism charges are rare, and the state's attorney's office says Fox hasn't filed one since she's been in office, so eight years. For a charge like this to hold up in Illinois, there has to be proof the person intended to intimidate or scare a broader community. Fox says evidence shows that's exactly what this suspect set out to do.